Hi guys, it's me from the future. I just wanted to pop in really quickly and remind you guys that if you guys are watching this on the day that it's posted, um, tomorrow or Wednesday, May 12th, Dom and I are having our first live virtual show. You guys can get the VIP tickets and those are gonna have a virtual meet and greet. It's like a FaceTime. It's on the Loop app. It's really easy to do. Um, but basically we get a FaceTime. If not, you guys can just get the normal GA tickets. It's going to be so much fun. The show is just gonna be around an hour. We have guest JC and Chelsea coming on from the What We Said podcast. You're gonna see like exclusive funny content videos. Like honestly, probably the funniest videos Dom and I have made. We're doing like Q and A's, um, uh, spill your guts, spill your guts. We have a bunch of segments. We've been working really hard on it. And if you guys ever want us to do an actual in-person tour, um, this show really matters. So if you guys want to come, add it to your Google calendars, bring your friends, tag us in post. I would really love to see you guys there and it would literally make my entire life. It's really cool. I know a virtual show is kind of hard, but I promise you we have worked so hard on it and I promise you will have fun and you'll really, really like it. So if you guys want, the tickets will be down below. I love you guys and I really hope you guys can come. Okay, enjoy the vlog. Happy Monday, everyone. Today, I don't I don't really know everyone. I actually just don't know. Perfect, thank you. So I woke up this morning in desperate need of Smoothie King. For some reason, they said it was closed on DoorDash. And I just drove an extra 10 minutes to go to the drive through Smoothie King. Like, that's where I'm at this morning. In case anyone was wondering, I was supposed to have like a 6 a.m. workout today. Didn't happen. I woke up wide awake at 6.30, though. That wasn't a good thing. On Monday morning, or on Monday nights, we always get ramen. We go to our favorite ramen place or we get it delivered and it's all i can think about and Alyssa literally just texted me all i'm thinking about is wabi house did you guys know there's a national coin shortage the more you know you're welcome guys i like to bring a lot of value education um and other things to my i don't know today guys i had a really chill weekend until yesterday and that was genuinely an accident um, but like I almost made it through, you know, I was so close. It really was. I get the metabolism boost, like banana passion fruit smoothie. So good. On today's agenda, I'm going to clean my house. I have a very busy, packed week ahead. Hot girl summer is in full force. I've been acting as though it's been hot girl summer for quite a bit, I'm not going to lie. But uh, I'm going to officially say it starts this week. I'm getting my second shot today. And I'm afraid that I'm not gonna feel good tomorrow and then I'm very busy the rest of the week So I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the closet room today. Hopefully. Oh, you know what? I need to see if the stuff's back in stock today So hopefully the stuff is back in stock today. If so, then I'm going to get my closet installed on Friday Which is very exciting. So I need to clean today. I need to just do some work from home It's gonna be a cozy at home vlog I really honestly probably need to stop at Trader Joe's really quickly. I need you guys to see. I cannot talk to a camera today. I went to Trader Joe's and I literally sat in my car for like 30 minutes. Like, what is going on? Trader Joe's haul. The entire reason I wanted to go to Trader Joe's was to get more glaze and the one thing I forgot. So, great. Literally, this is the smallest Trader Joe's haul ever. Red avocados, which... No glaze, so it's not even giving my normal toast. And then I got some treats. I got some treats for the dog since Fitz's birthday is tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean it's, well, no it's not, it's almost there. Guys, I got these lights on Amazon that, what did I do? Okay, I got these lights on Amazon and they make your kitchen look so much better. I mean, Like guys, look at that. I mean, beautiful, 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 beautiful. We love that. So I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. Like cleaning today, literally at all. Well, I think I'm just getting, I need a little pep in my step. I need to make some coffee. Do you want this? Good girl. Fitz, I have something for you. Uh, I think the real estate it is 10 a.m. and I'm so unbelievably tired. 
for like literally no reason because I went to bed at probably like 9 or 10 last night and I woke up at like 7. I am just so tired. I could go to bed for the day. I am not doing my best today and I think that cleaning is gonna help me, but like what is going on? I'm just so slow. I was thinking of like putting in a little vanity right here, but that is just not gonna make sense. I'm gonna move this rack, I think, down to the garage. I'm gonna put a timer on and I'm gonna completely clean out this room and organize it. I've gotta sell this chair this week as well. I love this chair so much, but I just don't have room for it. So I'm gonna list it on Facebook Market. All this stuff that I need to organize, so many Lux and Filter products and just tripods and books and all this stuff and prints and you know, whatever. So I'm going to figure this all out. I also have that to list. I have a lot of things to list. Like I said, I am just so out of it. Have an energy drink. I'm making myself do this. All I want to do is take a nap and it's like not even noon. Like, I don't know what's happening. It worries me because I'm getting my second shot today and I can't be tired tomorrow too. So we'll see. Side is fine. We're just gonna, we're gonna get it together. Hi, birthday boy. Happy birthday, Fitz. Happy birthday, bud. Is someone one today? Look at your big paws. Look at them. Coco cannot stand to not have the attention on her. Yes, girl. You know, happy birthday to you too, I guess. I'm sorry. Good morning, everyone. It is now Wednesday. Monday afternoon. Really all day Monday just felt really off. And then I got my vaccine. I didn't have any side effects the first one, but the second one, like I definitely had fever and I was sick and it didn't feel great. So I laid in bed and I basically read all day. I finished um, The Beach House. I really liked that one. It was long, it was 500 pages. I didn't realize it until after. It's really good. It follows some couples from New York who are in the Hamptons for the summer. It's like a thriller, murder mystery. It's cool, I like that one a lot. And then, I started a book um, that isn't released yet from one of my author friends. My first time. I feel so like, ooh, I'm a reader, you know? Anyways, it's 8 a.m. It's Fitz's first birthday. It's also Cinco de Mayo. I have meetings at Get Lala in this morning. I have lunch plans. I have dinner plans. Um, I ended up, I worked from bed yesterday, like the whole day. I just, I don't know, guys. I feel off this week, but TikTok kept telling me that Wednesday is going to be the best day of my life. So I'm going to believe them, you know? We're going to go. Um, I need to go to 12 through 30 because I think starting my day off with a workout will definitely help. I posted the cutest reel for Fitz's first birthday. <gasps> oh my god, I love him. Alright guys, I finished working out. I definitely feel better. I'm going to put some dishes away and do like a 10 minute clean of down here. I need to be at Lala Land in like 40 minutes. I need to shower and get ready. And I'm doing laundry. I wish I would have woken up like an hour earlier, but it's fine. <laughs> I finally ordered the right espresso pods for my Nespresso machine. I've been missing making my lattes. So I'm going to put these in the little container. I'm listening to Sophia Bush's podcast with Ben and Jerry. I love Sophia Bush like so much. This is what I'm listening to. Okay. I just threw an outfit on. I made some avocado toast. We're about to go to La La Land for Mr. Fitz's first birthday. <laughs> you literally just went outside, dude. So we're about to take him outside. Um, I just got dressed. I'm wearing just like random clothes right now because I'm in the middle of doing laundry. Oh, I got a text that my furniture, all right. Oh, bye Fitz. He's over me. I got a text that my new couch is arriving tomorrow. So I need to figure out what I'm doing with this one and get this picked up. Um, that's actually like top of the list. I need to really figure that out today. 
Um, we're going to La La Land. Dom and I have a meeting. Um, we're going through the VIP like meet and greet thing. We're doing a little test run for our live show. If you guys haven't bought tickets, it is Wednesday, May 12th, 7 p.m. Central. We would love for you guys to be there. Please come, we've been working so hard. Anyways, I'm gonna eat breakfast now. We're taking the birthday boy for some puppuccinos before our meetings this morning. Fitz, are you so excited? Oh my gosh. I mean, he is really just the greatest boy dog I could ever ask for. And Coco, you're the greatest girl dog. Coco's obviously coming with. She's the original lover of puppuccinos. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Fitz, come here, boy. Cutie. Come on, birthday boy. Come on. We're at your favorite place. Are you ready for your birthday puppuccino? Oh. He is still ready. Oh, you're gonna get one too, don't worry. Look, ready? Oh, wow. Whoa, birthday. Wow, oh, birthday. It's his first ever birthday. Coco's being so odd birthday. It's fine. It's ready. Keep going. Eat your, eat your puppuccino. Birthday boy. Item. This is Basically, once you log in, you'll see an event. Um, today's event is the test meet and greet, so just look for the test. And then once you enter the event, it's gonna start calling. Okay, um, when you're meeting, you're supposed to be 45 minutes and it ends in 19. Ooh! Ooh! I'm jacking on it. Even like my one serious like meeting this morning. Oh. Oops, like look. <laughs> Thumbnail. Thumbnail. <laughs> Dom got a boob job. Just kidding. I mean, if you want, you could. I'm giving you permission to, you know, make your views go up to use that. I do that. need my views to go up. You can, you can clickbait them. Dom got a boob job, but you can use it. I'm giving you permission. My brother's leaving right now. We just had our meeting. I changed. I'm going to lunch with a friend. I got my new Nike blazers. Do you like my new sneakers, Cody? Oh yeah, they're cool. Cool, right? This thrifted blazer, throwing this on, going to make a Cena. Okay. Hi, it's me again. Just like two hours later. I came home and I changed again. I really don't like my hair today. It's just like back, but I don't feel like doing it. We're going out later for like apps and drinks and stuff. So I just changed into this outfit. This is from this guy. I want to say this big oversized blazer. I haven't worn it and I don't know why. I have a white tank top on. <laughs> I have a white tank top on under these jeans. I have no idea. Probably Princess Polly. My blazers. That is the look for today. I need to work for a little bit and then I'm gonna head out. This couch is gone tomorrow. New couch arrives, very exciting. So this, really just ignore it guys. I just needed to know that was just a, a um, screw that was on the wall and I just attached it because I wanted to see how big I wanted like a piece to be here and at least I had those measurements and I just haven't moved it and it's like really driving me insane. Considering making another latte, I don't know if I will. Wow, what is with me in blazers today? Here's a blazer I was wearing earlier, thrifted. I've changed my outfit so many times today. I need to get set up. You know the nice thing about wearing like an oversized blazer? It's like, yeah, you're wearing denim shorts and stuff, but at the same time, it almost feels like you're wearing a dress and like, it's just cozy. I like the blazer for the summertime with this look, especially with like little heels or something. I just didn't feel like wearing heels today, what's new? Because you can like still wear outerwear, but it's so light that it doesn't matter. And even more than that, like we're gonna be outside today and I don't have sunscreen for my body, so I would just burn. So this is gonna save me. Guys, I don't even know if I talked about this in the vlog yet, but my super group sunscreen for my face that I'm like obsessed with, love it, wearing it right now. They came out with body face, no, they came out with body SPF, body sunscreen. Very excited about that. It's gotten to the point where I really don't feel like myself unless I have my hourglass lip gloss. Like, that's how much I love this stuff. It's just so good. This has just been a week of just feeling so off. I am so excited. I'm going to a holistic doctor next week. I'm so excited to like get my labs done and check because like I know there's something off with me and I just think that's gonna really save my life because it's just like, I... Okay, anyways. Hi guys. Why? I... I... I have no one to blame besides myself. I was just listening to a podcast and working and then thinking. And I wanted to come on the vlog and chat because I feel like I haven't really. I feel like I have. Part of me feels like I've been like complaining lately and I'm not meaning to complain. Uh, one, like I know that my hormones or something are just so 
out of whack and like out of balance and just weird, which I've already said. Two, I just think I've really been, um, I don't know if it's like, un I actually I think the word is uncertain. I keep saying I feel a little bit lost and I don't necessarily know that that's it. I was just at lunch with a friend and we were talking and she's like, yeah, this specific thing, whereas it may not have been, you know, the biggest deal in my life ever, it kind of sparked this whole, um, spiral maybe of just like uncertainty in life and especially at 23 and i've expressed before how i don't love the age of 23 it's definitely weird and i know i should enjoy it and have fun and i'm oh, did it again and i'm trying my best and i am like i'm not miserable i'm having a good time i'm not unhappy and things like that i just I think that i've been feeling really uncertain lately and just very kind of confused with who I am, what I want, who I want to be, just things like that. And I don't share this in a vlog or online to be like, oh my God, life is hard. Like, it's not that at all. I only share that because I know there are people who watch my videos who feel the same way. And I've even noticed with just my friends recently, if I kind of bring something up or I'll start to talk about it, they're all like, yes, that's exactly how I feel. And I'm like, why were we not talking about this before? chair i'm like why are we not talking about this before you know i just asked on instagram um but if you guys have any wrecks um if you're older preferably or even whatever i don't think like it's all about age but if you've ever had a period of life where you felt more uncertain maybe a little bit lost it's transitional whatever that might be um and you read any like good books watched any good movies documentaries podcasts anything like that i would love your recommendations i love when you guys share wrecks as Maddie Trapp says, in order to be found, no, in order to find yourself, you have to be flawed. In order to find, okay. In order to find yourself, you have to be lost. Something like that. I, that shouldn't be as difficult to say. Also, I think like certain personality types do better with this. Like I really like just knowing, like this is why I hate dating because I don't like the uncertainty of dating. Like I just am kind of like, okay, cool. Let's just go with it and be done. And it's not really like the best, but I just don't like uncertainty in general. Yeah, and I know this is like normal to feel when you're in your 20s. I think I was just kind of on like a hamster wheel or like on the go for so long that I didn't really have any time to like sit back and kind of like figure out my own personal life as much or really even think about it. Like it wasn't that I didn't have a life or wasn't, you know, um, actively building a life or whatever. It was more so just the fact that I feel like I just feel like for so long I was really like busy and I didn't really like sit down and like think about it And I was also in a time where I was like absorbing a lot of information and all of that I don't, I don't know if it's like also a post-grad thing like now that I'm finally like oh this is like real life whatever Even though I've been on my own since I was 17. I don't know I, guys. I just don't know. I don't know. I'm very It's also and if you catch me the right moment I'm excited about this because then I'm like that's so cool. I can't wait to see like how my life changes, how I change, how relationships change, friendships, whatever. And uh, if you catch me on the wrong day, I'm like, I want to cry and never leave my room and I don't know what I want to do. Everything's confusing and it's just awful. So really, I mean, it's a gamble. Fitz is with my brother. Um, Cody wanted to take him for his birthday. So he's over at their house right now and he's sending me photos. This is my genius idea I just had. I'm gonna like host a family dinner with my parents um, soon. But then conveniently have a few things that I need to get done in my house. And then I'll be like, oh, by the way, you know, it's a genius idea. Okay. Also, I've talked about PMDD before like 3,000 times. We're just really chatting. If you don't know what it is, it's premenstrual sport disorder. Essentially, um, it's like the week before my cycle, which mine has turned into 10 days and then two weeks, whatever. I'm just like really down. It feels like there's like a dark cloud over me at all times for like no reason. I've dealt with anxiety and depression on and off throughout my whole life. I've been very open about that. And it feels like that, but like really way more intense. It started around three years ago. Then I've kind of been taking treatment, blah, 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 whatever. I, nothing has really helped that much, to be honest with you. I really just am convinced that this holistic doctor consultation, I'm not even getting the labs done yet, is going to cure me. I just like don't want to stop talking. Like This is why I'm vlogging right now. Dom said she'll come pick me up soon and then we can go to Leela's. It's very exciting. We're having a little girls day. We're reading a lit. We're having little girls. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday morning. My couch arrives today, which is really exciting. I woke up and clearly, as we've established, this has been an off week. Oh, I forgot to put my sunscreen on. I need to roll up my face. I'm not gonna do that on camera because it was so annoying in <laughs> the last vlog. I like 
you know? Um, I'm gonna make an iced latte and I'm gonna go on a hot girl walk this summer, this summer, this morning to start off my day. I need to work out, I have work to do. Tonight I have a really fun event that I'm excited for. My couch arrives, I have therapy on FaceTime. Here I am again, rolling out my face, guys. I promise I'll never do an entire clip. I'm doing it right now, but I mean like a long clip. That was just really something, if you know what I'm talking about. The intro to my last vlog. I'm literally doing it as I, okay, I'm gonna go. Gonna listen to an audiobook. I think that's gonna be my hot girl summer walk thing. Hot girl walk. Can't say anything these days, guys. My latte is ready, and I got this little to go mug from Joanne's the other day, the craft store, and it was a really good buy. I just sat down and I worked for like an hour, and now my foot is asleep, and it's like making me lose my mind. Like, it's actually like the worst, I think. Okay. I have my hydro jug. This clutter, does it bother anyone else? Like I just, I don't have enough storage. That's the problem. Oh, I guess I can get more boxes downstairs. I need to order more boxes for today. I'm gonna go work out. I'm gonna do 12, 3, 30. And then I actually looked up like a leg workout cause I got this new, I don't know what to call it and I don't know how to pronounce it. So let me know, you guys will see it. I got two of them for my gym because I like have friends come work out with me a lot. Just inflated these. I need to clean the floor. We have a trash can. Started filling up the mini fridge. All energy drinks, very exciting. I'm gonna order the rest of the boxes today to where like this is gonna have absolutely no clutter and it's all gonna be organized and it's gonna be so beautiful. <laughs> And then move it and then move the other box up just so there's not so much trash at once. Oh my god. I did 12, 320 and then I did a new like little leg workout thing that I made for myself. Whew. Here is my first sneak peek of the couch. I love this. This stuff is just random that I have here. I just bought a new art piece. Ignore that one. It's not supposed to be there. I bought a new art piece for there. It should be here within the next week or so. I moved the crate over here. The couches and stuff have to be picked up. This is this is what the corner looks like right now because the ottoman isn't going to get here for like another month, but there's going to be an ottoman that matches, and it's just like so cozy, guys. I haven't attached these two things together, but the best part about this is that like if I move or if I want to, you know, get a middle piece or whatever and make this a sectional, I can do that. Um, and I originally really wanted a sectional, but I didn't really have the room clearly. Um, but I just like love the couches from Home Threads, matching chair. I got this chair, this couch, and the ottoman for like $2,300, which is really, really good for furniture. Obviously, that's not like cheap, but for like what I got, it's a really good price. Like, it, it, it is cheap for what I got, basically. Finish therapy. I am like shaking for my workout. I'm making another latte. I want to have my latte in peace on my new couch, read for the next hour, and then get on with my day. I'm gonna have to fix this that happened earlier. Hurry. Yeah, I need it. Guys, look at my cute outfit. I'll show you in a second. What? Hey, came downstairs, my little brothers are here. This is my favorite outfit yet. I think I was actually born to wear this specific outfit. The set is Revolve. These boots are from Miranda Lambert's line. <laughs> they were sent to me and uh, obviously I know it was for the PR team and not Miranda Lambert, but like in my head, Miranda Lambert sent me the boots, you know? Tennis racket. And these are tennis balls, actually. Okay, I saw this on TikTok and they're like vegetable, they're kitchen scissors. So instead of like chopping up your cucumbers, you can just cut them with this. And that saves a lot of dishes. A cutting board and a knife. Hello. Here's my new tennis racket. Are you bought a knife? No, this is like 40 bucks. That's nice. It wasn't nice, I don't think. So I'm about, I almost got like $200 and I was like, that's a bit excessive for a, a beginner, if you will. Good point. <laughs> Me and my tennis racket. That's beautiful. It's a little bit later, around like 7.30. The sun comes in and is so beautiful, but look at how just peaceful this is. I mean, wow. 
Good morning. I'm wearing the cutest workout set from Aloe. I'll show you guys later. I'm picking up Alyssa. I'm taking her to the airport. We have our first live show tour run through. Tour. Live show. Okay. I like always call it a tour. It's literally one live show. But we have another meeting, which is our first run through this morning, which is very exciting. Today is Friday. I think I said happy Thursday. Today is definitely Friday. I stayed up last night till 1 30 in the morning. So I've been reading these books that <laughs> these books that aren't out yet. Um, they're my a friend of mine um, is an author and so she sent them over and they're so good. And I, she went ahead and sent me the sequel and I have legit, and I read half of it. I got home late last night and I read half of it and I stayed up till like 2 a.m. So that's great. Okay, I got another drink. Doesn't this look like this is basically milk? It's a triple shot of espresso, but I don't understand. I mean, there is milk in it, but I don't know why I'm acting surprised. I just didn't think it would be that light, okay? Um, I'm on my way home. We have a first run through of our show in like 45 minutes. So that is that. I'm really tired. Ooh, look at us go. <laughs> the show will begin shortly. <laughs> um, so I don't know if that's the vibe that you like. That's kind of the font that I have. That's a little logo on the bottom left if you want to. It's now like 3 p.m. I went on a walk, we had the meetings, I did some work, I took a little nap because I'm just really exhausted this week. I don't know like what's up. I mean, I stayed up late last night, but I just am like overly exhausted. Maybe it's from the shot still, I don't know. But I like needed to, so it's three. I'm gonna work until like 6.30. Then I'm going to dinner with friends, but I'm loving my new couch. It's really cute. I'm also gonna journal a little bit. I've actually been like trying to write and journal like a lot more. Um, and it's been really good for me as I am uh, figuring out who I am this summer. So I've started. All right guys, so I'm gonna end the vlog. Sorry, the humidifier is on, but here is my outfit for the night. Super cute. I had on platforms my Instagram photo and I changed into these. I like platforms, but they like tie. You know the tie, like wrap up tie shoes that look cute, but then like they're just, but then they just like fall off the whole night. I'm going to dinner with some friends. It's gonna be a fun girls night. So here's my outfit. I'm sorry I didn't vlog much today, honestly. It was all over the place. I just, it was a mess. This week was a mess. I'm kind of a mess, but at least I'm being honest. I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you it was a weird week, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know what you guys wanna see. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Do you not want investors because you just want more control? Like what is the, what's the benefit and the cost? So investors are awesome and one day we will need them, but I want to retain my equity until I don't need them.